these chocolate brownies are the absolute best if you do not have your favorite recipe yet i am sure that these will become your favorite recipe they are so delicious what are you making it for chocolate brownies for dessert okay so first thing you're gonna do is set your oven to 375 and then you're gonna take eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate baker's chocolate and a half a cup of butter into like a medium sized pot and you're going to melt it all together. All right, once that's melted, you're just going to let it sit for about 10 minutes so it cools off because we're going to mix some eggs in it and we don't want to cook the eggs. So while you wait for that to cool, you're going to prepare your pan. You can use a nine by nine, like your classic um, brownie cake pan. I personally like to use the medium size spring pans um, just because it's going to be for a dessert when people come over and it's a little fancier. So no matter what you use, just prepare it. Use parchment paper to line it or flour and um, butter and flour if you're like a regular pan. But spring pans need parchment paper, otherwise it will leak through. So just prepare your pan and, uh, and then we'll move on. All right, next in a bowl, we are going to put together a quarter cup of packed brown sugar and three-fourths white sugar. And as soon as your chocolate has cooled enough, you're going to pour it in and whisk it together. Just like this. Whisk it all in until all the lumps are gone. Next, we're going to whisk in three eggs, three large eggs. We're going to do it one at a time so that um, it creates a fluffier brownie. Next, you're going to whisk in one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, next, we're going to fold in with a nice spatula a half a cup of flour plus two tablespoons so a half plus two tablespoons of flour um, two tablespoons of cocoa and then a pinch of salt it definitely takes a lot longer to fold it in but it's well worth it for the final result okay next you're going to fold in now one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips you can probably see now why these are so good they're filled with chocolate okay so pour your mixture now into your pan you're going to cook this for in between 30 and 40 minutes. Every oven's different, so when you can um, pull a toothpick out and just be a little bit wet crumb, like like wet crumbs on it, then you know it's done. You don't want to overcook, but you don't want to undercook as well. So just keep an eye on it between 30 and 40, and you'll know when to take it out. Okay, so while those brownies are baking, we're going to make the icing. So in here is a quarter cup of milk half a cup of butter and two tablespoons of cocoa. We are going to put it on high heat and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Once it boils, remove it from the heat, but keep whisking it because you don't want it to burn. Um, and then you're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And next you're gonna whisk in three and a half cups of icing sugar. And there it is. So what I do is I just keep it in the pot off the heat of course, and I come back and I stir it every once in a while. I'm just going to wait now until the brownies are finished and then I'll show you how I um, put it on because you can see it's quite runny. All right, when you pull it out of the oven, just let it sit and cool for 10 minutes. Okay, so if you have done yours in like a cake pan, a normal cake pan, now is when you would pour your sauce on top or your frosting on top. Now this is a little more than what you need for your brownies. What I like to do is keep put some aside to put over top of your ice cream if you're going to have like ice cream and brownies or use it to dip strawberries in you taste that you're going to see that this is the absolute best most delicious frosting you can have and you'll find many uses for it now if you don't want to do that cut this recipe in half and then pour it on top but otherwise you have a little bit extra for like i said ice cream fruit whatever you want you name it delicious trust me I've been making this I realized today since I lived at home with my parents and that was a long time ago but once you find a great recipe there's no need to experiment with anything else okay so if you've used a spring pan like I have we're gonna take it off try to get the parchment paper down as much as we can and if possible gonna get it over onto a cooling rack without the base or parchment paper now if it still is just too warm and it's gonna fall apart just wait put it with the base on the cooling rack wait another 10 to 15 minutes and then um, take the bottom off all right you can see with mine that I was able to get the bottom off but I couldn't get it off the parchment paper yet started to crack just on the top and all the way through so I'm fine so I'm gonna let it sit here and cool for a little bit longer Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, now I'm going to slowly spoon 
this um, frosting over this brownie that's still warm and um, I'm gonna do it slowly otherwise it will just melt off and pool below so nice and slow all right so I just put a couple tablespoons on and I'll slowly start to move this around and just get it to the edge and it can fall over the edge nicely on its own and then I'll let that set for a bit and then I'll do that again there it is I'm gonna let it set and then I will um, put some more on all right I just added the second and last layer of icing and I helped just push it along so it came down all the sides and um, I'm gonna let it finish cooling now and then maybe in about an hour or so I'm gonna transfer it over to my cake plate but that's it I hope you guys love it for me it's the best brownie and uh, whenever I have people over and they eat it, they always want the recipe. So <laughs> I hope that you like it as much as we do.